guys, I'm sitting over here, standing in the kitchen, eating an orange, like how I eat my citrus, just standing there over the cutting board because I'm so excited and I want it in my mouth, so I don't want to sit down. Anyway, I just ate a whole orange. I'm on my second one, just cutting it up. But I just realized, like, over the past few years, I've enjoyed listening to Spanish music more. And, you know, I enjoyed Spanish music before here and there because I know a little bit of Spanish, right? Beautiful music, all different kinds, right? There's so much more now than there used to be. And it's become more mainstream because of reggaeton and all these kinds of things, right? But it's it's so much more varied and, like, many more artists to appreciate now. But the whole point is, I'm like... I've had so many spiritual experiences and like expressions through Spanish music. And I just realized it's because the cognitive ability to like separate, you know, my native English is my native English. (laughs) My native language is English, obviously. So it kind of has a cognitive effect on us, on myself. I know like if I'm, singing something or enjoying something that's more spiritual in nature that's english you know the words associations and the words come in a certain way right and they might hit my spirit a certain way and like you know not penetrate any further or you know it may not go as deep as i'm realizing with spanish music i've had the most like deep profound like emotional responses and spiritual experiences listening and meditating and responding with uh, different types of Spanish music and I'm realizing it's because it's a language that I've played around with I don't I'm not fluent in it by any means I can be if I want to be obviously if I keep working at it um definitely nowhere near fluent but I know enough to be dangerous and it's like sometimes the way I'm singing the way it goes in. It's just, it's a beautiful language to me. I know a lot of people take it for granted. It's one of the romance languages though. It's beautiful to me. It comes out more easily than even English. Like I kind of fumble over my words sometimes when I'm comfortable and I'm just talking like this in English. I'm not like, but in Spanish it just kind of rolls out and the music just rolls through my spirit, my soul. And I can just, it's almost like a harp. Like you're playing a harp and like, <laughs> And then I have a response, whether it's just like a deeper breath meditating or tears coming or just la- just smiling, laughing, like euphoria. And I had, it happens to me all the time. I just thought about it because it happened today. And last night I was listening to Zoe. If you guys have heard any of their songs, I was listening to Labios Rotos and Luna. And I'm just, oh, I listened to Luna again today. Check it out, Luna by Zoe. Um, I think the live like version will come on if you play it on like YouTube or look it up that way. And certain parts of it just really hit my spirit, and I just I was like tearing up and crying again today. It's like if it was in English, I know I wouldn't have the same reaction because you know, it's, I take these words for granted because it's my native language and we say it all the time. Just like I say, um, I was telling my son, even in Spanish, there's a couple different ways to say, I love you. And in other languages, there's even more ways. And in English, there's one way we either say, I I like, I love you. I love like, I love Skittles and I love you. I love steak and I love the dog. I love, you know, it's like, it completely, uh, tears away the deeper meaning when there's only one way to say it. I feel like and English does that. Um, you know, I'm not hating on my native language, but at the same time, now that when you explore other languages and, you know, explore the music and the culture and the language, the people, and you start realizing, oh my gosh, there's so many different ways these people in this one language or culture or country express themselves with like this one meaning or thing that they say in here um in america and i don't know about other english-speaking countries like england I, I don't really know but the meaning is just so um what's the word i'm looking for see and i blank so many times at my words in english and i don't seem to do that in spanish or i don't blank out on how i'm trying to express myself so it's interesting but it um it's like a d word like it denounces the, that's it's similar to like denounce it's like 
it downplays, it denounces. It's some word I'm searching for and my brain won't let me find it. But yeah, have you ever noticed when your brain is searching so hard and you're trying to get there, but then if you have your spirit and your soul open, your heart's open and you're just expressing yourself. And I think that's why I love Spanish music because it opens up my heart and my spirit and it almost stops my brain from overthinking because the music helps me flow and that creative flow and keep going. But when I'm sitting there learning the language on like a language app or whatever, my brain is activated. So it's kind of half and half where I'm flowing, but then my brain gets in there and I'll even make simple mistakes. I'll notice this. I'll make simple mistakes on stuff that I actually know. And that really annoys me. I'm like, are you kidding me? <sighs> like, I know that. <laughs> and that's more annoying than when I don't know it. And I, if I really don't know it, I'm like, I'm learning. It's good. Good. Because some of the grammar stuff, I get a little backwards and like confused. But, um, cause, you know. But I think you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. And it has to do with process, verbal processing, language, auditory learning, just word association, meaning spiritual flow, all this kind of stuff. But that's enough rambling for me today. So you guys enjoy your Sunday, Sunday fun day. Keep it real.